You've seen a lot in this game, my friend. You never get used to something like what you saw last night with Jordan Zimmerman and how scary it went. But I, I thought the sound was as scary as the moment itself. Uh, what was going through your mind as you watched that unfold? The sound is, is absolutely right, Shep. That's the one thing that always gives, uh, gives you chills. I mean, we're up here in the press box a long way away from the field, and when you hear that thud, that thwack, it just sends a bad feeling down your spine. And fortunately for Jordan Zimmerman last night, it, uh, it turned out to be just a bad bruise, which uh, to me is just unbelievable. Go ahead. What do you think will be, I don't even want to say the end game after something like this because we've seen it before, but do you guys envision pitchers wearing some type of protective device moving forward because of these scary scenes? No, I don't, Shep. You know, I've seen a couple of these. I saw one uh, back in the late 80s when I was broadcasting in the minor leagues for the Peoria Chiefs. We had a kid by the name of Red Robinson hey, take a comeback a right back off the mound, hit him square in the mouth, and in fact, his teeth were leveled or parallel to the top of his roof of his mouth, and that's how bad that was without getting too graphic. Then, of course, the Jacoby Jones thing yes, last year in April uh, in Minnesota was kind of graphic as well when he was hit by a pitch. But I think going forward, you know, when you, when you look at things like this, Jacoby nailed last year by Justin Haley at Target Field. That was in April. Now, the players, at least from the hitting standpoint, are not starting to wear these mouth guards, and Jacoby was one of the first for the Tigers to do it because of just this right here that happened last season. But when you look forward to is anything going to happen with the pitchers? I just don't see it. Alex Torres, a couple of years ago, you might remember, wore the protective gear in his hat, but he got made fun of so much because it just looks so awkward. I think players are more concerned, to be honest with you, with how they look hmm. than how they should be protected. You know, Phil Nevin last night was, was saying, you know, I was wearing a, a sweatshirt under my jersey because it was so cold, but I looked fat doing that. And so because <laughs> I look fat, I'm no longer going to wear the sweatshirt. So guys would rather be freezing on the field than looking a couple of pounds portlier. So uh, that's just the way it is. They're very uh, cognizant of how they look on the yeah. field. So I just don't see anything changing. Yeah, I don't see uh, a pitcher starting to wear those, uh, those hats that uh, they came out with a couple of uh, a years ago where you might have had one or two guys maybe experiment with it, guys that had been hit in the head before. Uh, but they're no longer wearing those. But a uh, scary moments for me, uh, obviously that Jacoby Jones was very, very scary last year. But I think back to Joe Zamaya when he was pitching for the Tigers and him throwing a pitch and then his arm dangling as he walked off the field. I didn't even tell the people I was going to say that because I didn't want them to find the video on that. But that was one of the more scarier moments that I'd seen yeah. on a baseball field, what happened to Joel Zamaya uh, when he was here wearing the Tigers How uniform. How about when Dave Dravecki, the same twice. thing happened to him. Twice. Yeah, yeah that was really it scary. twice to him. Mario, thanks as always, my friend. Have a good call tonight, okay? All right, Shep, thank you.